Neither side has given an inch through the first four games of this series, and we expect nothing less here tonight with game number five. Welcome. And we are about set to drop the puck on this one. A critical game for both sides here, and we are underway. Looks to pass it to Del Mastro. And that's broken up. That's not going to fool him. And we'll get the whistle after the goaltender hangs on. Lots of hockey left to be played in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Grand Rapids has it in their own end. The Griffins move the puck in the defensive zone. Denied by the puck stopper. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Rockford's got the puck after winning the defensive zone faceoff. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Puts a little mustard on the hook to knock the puck loose. Rockford's gained possession. And that's broken out. The Griffins are in transition. Shot! Turns it aside with a the glove. There's the whistle as the puck is frozen up. Wins the draw, now let's see what they can do with it. There's the whistle, let's see what the referee saw. The Ice Hogs are being called for tripping. Both teams lining up for the face-off, and it's a chance to see if there's actually some power in this power play. First power play opportunity of the game and to set the tempo, the trend on the specialty team unit. Center pass! Picked off in front. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And he takes the pass. Takes the feed up ahead. Oh, he got pulled by Starter! Moves it to Johansson. Moves the puck. Passes it in front. Clears the zone. From the open ice, they gain the line. Fires it into the offensive zone. Feeds the puck across to Johansson. Strands carrying it ahead. Moves it to the middle. Oh, he comes up with a stop. The Griffins fire blanks on the power play. We're back to even strength here. Well, being on a power play is a privilege, James. Trust me, I know I was never on it. When you get out there, you have to have some urgency and find a way to get it to the middle of the ice and get some opportunities on net. There was none of that. Lots of time left in this period. We're still scoreless. The Ice Hogs win the draw on their own end. Passes on over to Kaiser. Oh, what a hit on the wall. And that's a clean one, James. A great angle. Show shoulder and just laid it on thick. Off a stick and they can't connect. Moves it quickly over to Gust. Some solid defensive work in their own end with the poke check. Loses his balance on the play. Puts the puck on net. Comes up with the stop. And it's a quick pass to Del Mastro. Shot on net. Oh, he somehow got a little piece of it and it stays out of the net. Tremendous intensity here in the offensive zone. Moves it to the offensive zone. Here's a chance, sends it in front. Can't get the shot off. And it's stopped by the goaltender using his head this time. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. Still scoreless in this one. Grand Rapids will go to work here in the offensive end. Why did a net he missed? Well, you recognize that it's a game of inches, James, and this is on full display right here. This is a great shot. Doesn't miss by much, but it's a miss all the same. Well, it's going to play it from the back of the cage. Puck is frozen, and we get a stoppage in play. The centermen glide into position. Grand Rapids with a big defensive zone face-off. Quick feed 
to Paddock. Loose puck battle along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Healy. Slides the puck ahead into the neutral zone. Here's a short pass to Dettinger. Shot! Here's a shot! And he comes up with the glove save. Cates wins possession in the defensive zone. Split feed. Gains the zone from the right side. Moves it to the middle. And that chance is blocked. Taken along the wall by Sorella. Takes it up, but he's still got the puck. Cates is really showing his nose for the net and his tenacity around the puck. He stumbles and he's off balance. Listen, the puck is not in the perfect position to shoot, but he manages to corral it and still get it to the net. These are the types of efforts it takes to win big games. That goes wide. Slides it back to the blue line. Denies the chance by blocking it. And he's taken down the official's arm, signaling for a penalty. And let's see what the definitive call is on the ice. Cates is caught for the trip. And he's going on a trip to the penalty box. As we're about to drop the puck, the power play unit back out onto the ice for another opportunity. Earlier today, the guys were talking about the cross crease one time, where the coverage is sliding over to one side of the ice. It's opening it up all day long. Puck slid down the ice. Looking to break out here on the power play. Quick feed to Bergeron. And he can't hang on after that hit. Picked up along the boards by Harissa. And that one's turned away. Goaltender covers up. We got a stoppage in play. Just moments away from the resumption of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. And they win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Sometimes when you have the puck on your stick in a primetime scoring area, it's not about threading the needle. And when you try and thread it, sometimes you miss. And that's what happened there. Puck clear from the defensive end. Dumps it in. The Griffins gain possession. Grand Rapids plays it along the boards. Cates gets a boost from the penalty killers. He's out of the box. Nothing like a strong PK to just elevate the team right from the bottom to the top of the roster. This takes hard work, and they certainly showed why they're on that unit. And serves up a little knock on the play. Rockford's got it in the offensive zone. Loves the puck into the corner of the offensive zone. The Griffins gain possession along the wall. Rocks him on the play. Grand Rapids on the attack. Quick pass to Lipen. Pinned up along the boards. Picked up along the wall by Hiroshi. Shot! Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Stubber. Moves it to Tepley. Rockford's got it along the wall. Huge steal in his own end. Penalty coming up as the play's blown dead. You can almost hear the size on the bench as that third penalty within the frame has been called here, James. A top position as they can't get any rhythm going on their bench. Another scoring opportunity looms here. They haven't scored on their power play yet. They've earned this opportunity. They'll get another look at it, look for different adjustments to be made. Trying to right to the front. Oh, and that one pops up short as he just gets enough of that one. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive, he's competitive, and he wins the battle. Goose's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The Griffins take possession off the face off. Turned aside with that glove by Stucker. I'm not sure how he kept up to that shot right from the slot area, James, but man, he flashed the leather. He made the save, no rebound to boot. Another face-off looming here on this power play. Tees him up, turns him away! And they'll get a breather as the goaltender covers it up. Getting into the later stages of this period, the game is still scoreless. Grand Rapids wins 
possession right off the draw. Moves it quickly over to Rafferty. Teams have a score! A fireplay goal! Well, especially teams are often the difference maker. It's why you spend so much time in practice working on them, James, and they took advantage of their opportunity. In today's game, so many goaltenders are butterfly goalies, and he is no different as he drops into the butterfly, looking to get his arms up quick enough, but he can't. The shooter just whistles one up high. Grand Rapids takes a 1-0 lead here in the closing moments of the first period, timing everything here. Yeah, it really is, and it took longer than I thought because I really like the way that they played throughout this entire period. And now it's grabbed by Healy. And that's intercepted by Aston Reese. Grand Rapids is generating momentum off of the turn. And the play on as it goes up the outside of the post. The Wolves lead in this game doesn't get extended. And man, they would have loved that one for the extra cushion, but it goes off the post and out. Well, this is a critical juncture of the game. You've got the one goal lead, and now you take a penalty. The PK unit has to be the task and kill this off. Rockford's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. Well, they earned this a power play, James, through hard work, and it's an opportunity to even the score here. They need to find a way to execute and get back to the even score. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Hootman's won the faceoff, and now let's see what they can do. Fantastic save! Hutchinson's in a great position to be able to make that stop, James. That's in a high-scoring area. It's a threat. Great A, and he makes the stop. Quick feed to Gus. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Oh, and we are tied after that power play mark. Well, it's perfectly executed, and the coach has the most skilled offensive players out there for that very reason. They tied the game. This is a great power play goal, James. They have the execution in terms of their passing along the outside, and then they attack the net with a shot. You have to have net front presence and create a screen. That's exactly what they have, and they capitalize as a result. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the next goal could be a big one as we are tied. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. The Ice Hogs take possession in the defensive end. Here's a short pass to Strand. It's got the puck along the wall. Hard hit, freeze up the puck. Came up with a nice save. And he rings the post! I like the habits on this shot selection right there, James, but it goes off of the pipe, doesn't go in the 4 by 6 and now they're chasing the game. Quick pass to Gutman. Now a quick pass to Sorella. Nearing the final 60 seconds here this first period. Gus really impressed me with that last play, James. I mean, you have the wherewithal to hold on to that puck. I mean, that's tenacity on your way down, falling to the ice and still get the shot off. That's leadership at its best. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. Rockford's won the defensive zone draw. Battle along the wall. The Ice Hogs gain control of the puck against the wall. Through center along the wing. Textbook poke check by Johansson. Here's a shot. Big save just as time runs out. There's the horn for period number one as it comes to an end. We've got lots more action. Two more thirds of this one to go. Stay with us. For the first three rounds of the playoffs. This offer is available now. Don't miss your opportunity to pick up the best locations for next season. Stop by Section 144 on the concourse.
Teams are back on the ice. Both squads gliding into position for the start of period number two. Been a fun one so far. Neither side giving an inch. Still tied here as we open things up in the second. All right, Pounder, how would you assess this game through the first 20 minutes played? Rockford's performance in the first period was lackluster. They didn't generate any offense, and they weren't attacking with any kind of speed. They're going to have to find a way to shore that up, James, because their opponent is really taking it to them. They're fortunate that this game is still tied. Lots of time left in this period. We are all tied up in this one. The Griffins win that offensive zone faceoff. Oh, hey! Scores! He put it in himself. He tried to make the save. I don't think he knew where it was. Oh, that's a really tough goal, James. You can see the frustration on his face and the body language. Just thinks he lost track of it as it found the back of the net. Grand Rapids has to be feeling good about their game right now here in period number two as they've gone ahead by one. Yeah, and it's not about playing safe anymore. It's about going after it, James, and it's an attack mentality. They've got the lead now. They've got to find a way to be first and urgent on the puck. Moves around along the half wall. And there's the save. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. One minute, five seconds. Grand Rapids has been on a roll offensively here, and they lead it in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. What a steal in his own end. Change up, change up. Sini's going to play it against the half wall. Hutchinson's going to hang on for the whistle here. It's been a ho-hum night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Lipens won the faceoff here in the offensive zone. Here's a chance behind the net. Nothing doing. The Griffins have it now. Can't get a hold of that pass. Rockford's got control of it now here in the offensive end. And we get a whistle as the goaltender decides to hang on to this one. And with the two centers tangled up, the winger skates away with it. Taken by Strand. Sends it in front. And he denies that great opportunity there. Still plenty of time left in this frame. Grand Rapids leads it 2-1. Bairgren's won the draw there on the attack. Hiroshi's the victim of a slash, and the official caught that. We got a penalty coming up. Here comes the official's decision. Not a great penalty to take. I mean, you're down a goal. You're trying to fight to get back in this game, and now you find yourself shorthanded. Well, I really like them working off the 1 3 1 sequence that they were successful on earlier, James. It really opens up the ice. So you're using and stretching the entire zone. And listen, there's a lot of ice for the defense to cover. So you can look to the flanks, you can look to the bumper, but a lot of options off of it. In front of the net, the goaltender covers up for a whistle on the play. Hoopman's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Rockford's got a hold of the puck. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. Trying to get the puck out of his own end. And clearing attempt is a big success on that play. The Griffins have it now. Slides the puck over to Kettinger. with the player advantage all night long. You know it's a hard shot when the goaltender gets a big piece of it, but it still trickles in.
Grand Rapids extends the lead to two as they make their way back to center ice. Is there a concern of complacency now when you've got that two-goal lead? Well, I think the big thing is you've got a comfortable lead, but you can't get comfortable, if you know what I'm saying, James. Yeah. You've got to continue to attack. You can't sit back. You've got to continue to push and do the things that got you the lead in the first place. And a stick in the lane ends that threat. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Keeps possession. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Takes a shot. And that doesn't reach the net. Puck scooped up by Edmondson. Takes the feed. Rockford's grabbed a hold of the puck. The Ice Hogs play it along the boards. Grand Rapids moves ahead with the puck. The Ice Hogs have it against the wall. Sends the pass in front. And he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Knocked off the puck. The Griffins played along the wing. Quick shot, makes the save. Tosses it on to Lipen. Rockford's got the puck. The Griffins take possession here in the open ice. Fires it, and that's blocked in traffic. We got a whistle as the puck's frozen. Getting closer to the halfway point of this frame, Grand Rapids seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. The Griffins win the draw and they go on the attack here in the offensive zone. Too much congestion blocks the shot. Poked away at center by Johansson. Along the boards, they battle for the puck back and forth. And now it's grabbed by Aston Reese. Takes the stretch pass here in the open ice. Great use of the stick in the defensive end by Allen. Oh, those boards rattled after that hit. Wow. And he's rattled as well, James. I mean, we knew that hit was coming, and then all of a sudden, boom, and he's down for the count. Grand Rapids has shown no signs of slowing down in this one. They have put a lot of pucks on net. Rockford's got the puck inside the offensive zone. Let's see what the officials are calling. The Ice Hogs are going to be short-handed because of a tripping call. Power play unit going back to work. With so much about power play execution, what we're seeing tonight with their success is about working on it in practice. Repetition, success, and it is certainly translated to the game tonight. Puts it off the post. From the point, looks to make something happen. Hutchinson's going to give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. Gutman's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Rockford's won the draw. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Easily turned away by the goaltender. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a face-off? And a solid job tying up his opponent. Oh, it stays out. He's got a piece of that one. Great save by a stopper. Goaltender hangs on for the whistle. Here in the back half of this period, it's a two-goal lead we're looking at with the score 3-1. Grand Rapids takes possession after that offensive zone face-off. Keeps it out, got a piece of it with the trapper. The Griffins will take it behind the net. There's a chance in front, and that shot's blocked. And they get the puck out of the defensive end. Both teams back to even strength as the power play comes up empty-handed on that one. And he's got the answer for that one. Well, the PK certainly hasn't been stellar, and oh, yeah, I remember those meetings in the video. You never wanted to see yourself on the screen, but you have to find a way to stay with it and try and create some momentum and get the puck down the ice. They've got numbers here. Oh, and it stays out. He got a piece of that one. The Griffins continue to lead it here in the second period. They have been very active in the offensive zone tonight. And they win the face-off and set up to go on the attack. Takes 
a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. The Griffin's ready to go on the attack. And he takes the feed. And that's intercepted. He might have a step here. All alone. Oh, what a save. Directs it on over to Bergren. Read that perfectly with the poke check. Here's a chance. And that got cut up in traffic and goes off the stick. Scores! Picks that off the pipe and into the net. Wow! He almost needed a double take there, James. When you hear that sound, sometimes you think it's out, but this one goes in. Rockford's found some offense, and now they suddenly have made this game a lot more interesting here in the second. And they changed the momentum. You can see it in the body language and the confidence. They've got themselves within striking distance of an even game. Grand Rapids is going to start with the puck after winning the draw. Oh, he caught him! Oh, and that's a thunderous hit along the boards. It's bone-crushing, James. You feel that one right from your toes all the way up to your shoulders. Talk about finishing a check. period has expired. The Ice Hogs make their way back into the face-off circle, still in search of another goal. Grand Rapids has won the defensive zone draw. Moves it to Hirose. Here's a shot. That's off a stick. Grand Rapids looks to get things going now with the puck. Puck grab by Strand. And now he moves it to Koopman. Play whistle dead, penalty coming up. Well, the bench doesn't like this call, James. It's untimely to say the least with that one goal lead. Now the PK unit, they gotta get out there and they gotta do a job. Rockford's got another opportunity here on the man advantage. Power plays are a funny thing, especially when you're down by one, James. You have to act as if you are the hunter, and you have to possess that puck and attack. And the puck clears the zone. Moves the puck along the half wall, and he gets just enough of it to keep it out from the back of the net. All those tracking exercises when you're young come in handy when you're older, and this is a prime example. Look at him, Bob and Weed, trying to find that puck. He does and makes a save. Moves it quickly over to Del Mastro. This is such a high energy shift, and it's a reason why they have sustained pressure in the offensive zone. Their opponent back on their heels, looking real tired now. The Ice Hawks are gonna have to move it up quickly here if they're gonna capitalize on this power play. Rockford's got the puck against the half wall. Here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with the glove to stop that one. What a fantastic save from a high-danger scoring area, James. And, I mean, he's bailing his team out. They have to do a better job of protecting the middle of the ice. Off the draw, he ties up his opponent. The Ice Hogs fail to capitalize on the man advantage. Both sides back to even strength. Scores! And we are tied. New game here, Pounder. Oh, yeah, it's a new game, James. Uh, but I really like the pushback to get the equalizer. And now it's what they do with that momentum. This next shift, it's critical. They've been behind all game, but they've clawed their way back with good habits, and they find themselves at an even score. The Ice Hogs have set this up to be a dramatic one tonight. They put themselves in a good position here at the end of the second period. Isn't it ain't easy to get goals in this game, but they got the equalizer, and it's a nice step heading into the third period. Big play inside the defensive zone. Hootman's lugging the puck. And he takes the dish. Takes the puck at the point. Quick feed to Cini. And he gets up his that one and denies it. Here in the late goings of the period, we got a tie game. Rockford's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, and he airmailed it right over the net. Oh, yeah. Opportunity loss here, James. He sees the daylight at the top of the net, and he just sails it high. Makes a move in front, and that goes off a of body. The Ice Hogs move to the offensive zone. 
and uses the length of his stick to knock that puck away. Scores! And we take a drive to Clutch City as they take the lead. Well, the lead is in their hands, and now it's about building off of that. Good shift management, dictating pace, controlling the offensive zone. Everything now, it's on the line. Well, these below-the-goal-line goals are so difficult to track, James. I mean, when the puck carrier's below the goal line, everyone's turned, puck focus, toes are turned, and the shooter gets lost in coverage to a quiet area of the ice and makes himself available for the pass. He delivers a one-timer that just beats the goaltender who's still looking at the puck. Rockford's going to start off with the puck here in the neutral zone after winning that face-off. Ralston's got it in the offensive zone. Rockford's got a hold of it against the wall. Back to the point it goes. Oh! Oh, save! Uh, that doesn't swing momentum in your favor. I don't know what will, James. That's a last-ditch effort to make a play. What a beautiful save. And look at this. These fans are starting to get on their feet to recognize what an incredible save we just witnessed. Yeah, he made an incredible one, didn't he? And, and you got to embrace it when they're on their feet in support of you because you know you hear booze often when you let a bad one in. So embrace it. You can tell that he's feeling it right now. There it is. That's a wrap for period number two. Both teams will get a chance to get a little breather here. And we'll come back. Third period action next. Delman stores and 14 restaurants. Delman has it all.
Both teams seem fresh after that second intermission. We're ready to drop the puck on period number three. No shortage of offensive highlights in this one. Let's see if that carries over here as we are underway in the third. Well, Pounder, we've played more than 40 minutes now in this one. How do you view things? The Americans continue to lead in this third period, but the question is for how long, James? I mean, this has been a back-and-forth, action-packed game of offense. I don't know. I wouldn't like to play in this game because I was all defense, and there's none of it tonight. Here's a short pass to Gettinger. Shot! Oh, what a close save by Stubber! The Griffins need to get one back here as they trail early in this third period despite putting a lot of pucks on net. Slides in off the wing after the centerman tied him up. Battle along the boards. Quick pass to Tepley. There's an injection of energy with that hit. Receives the pass. Takes it into the slot. Puck picked up by Tepley. Sends the pass over. Moves it to Luff. Takes a shot. Oh, spectacular stop there. Taken by Rafferty. Great defensive effort with the stick. Moves the puck into the attacking area. Grabs it in his own end. Grand Rapids is across the blue line. And he loses both the puck and his balance after that hit. Moves it quickly over to Cates. And that's knocked away. Edvinson stick handling in his own zone. And somehow he hangs on. Oh, what a stop with the blocker by Hutchinson. And he coughs it up with the pass. Takes the feed at the point. Misses over the net. You gotta get a shot on that, James. You get in tight, you have an opportunity in that scoring area, and you don't even get a shot on that. Not good enough. Rockford's got control of it now from their own end. Looking for space inside the D zone. The Ice Hogs take it along the wall. A chance in front! Spectacular stop by the goaltender. How did he hang on to that? More than half the period left to play. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. And he takes the feed. Grand Rapids has it against the half wall. Slides the puck over. The Ice Hogs have it from their own end. He's got a step. Oh, it's a the play. Uh, and this is a great play by the tender to anticipate and get across to make that save. The Griffins still trail in this third period despite numerous scoring opportunities. Grand Rapids has the puck in their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Fires it on that. Oh, he saved it. What a stop. Well, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get it all alone. And that's good enough. Oh, James, he thought he had that one. He used his speed to get that breakaway. And then all of a sudden, the defender comes out of nowhere and stops the opportunity. Great play. is getting frustrated, James. They hit the post so many times, they're going to have to repaint the frame. Quick feed to Healy. Turns it aside with the glove. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. The setters will glide into the dot. They take possession as he locks them up off the faceoff. Hutchinson's going to hang on for a whistle. The Griffins start with the puck in their own end. Skates across the blue line. Centering pass! Oh, he comes up with a stop. Inching closer to the midway mark of the period. This one has been a good back and forth contest. We're sitting with a 4-3 hockey game. The Griffins take possession here inside the offensive zone. Handles the puck. Save back there. He's really owning his crease. Let's have a look at that last save again. 
again. It was absolutely incredible. You're under pressure, you're under attack, really under siege, and you find a way to get to the puck. This is the stuff that champions are made of. Grand Rapids is in danger of losing this one if they can't convert on one of these scoring opportunities, and they've had a lot of them tonight. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. The lane was plugged up, and that shot's blocked. Cuffs up the puck after that hit. Takes a couple of knocks and loses control. Rockford's got it in the own zone. Took the lane and forces the turnover at center. With the stop. Ref blows the whistle as the puck's covered up. Past the halfway mark of this period, Rockford's got a one-goal lead here. They're up 4-3. The Griffins win the defensive zone faceoff. Feeds the puck to Bergren. With some open space at center. Went for the dirty dangle and it goes sideways. Hiroshi is known for his creativity and he tries one too many moves there and he loses the puck. Knocked away. Scooped up along the wall by Ralston. Rockford's got the puck against the boards. Tripped up on the play, delayed penalty coming up. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. Well, the refs are calling a really tight game, and man, this has been a parade to the penalty box, and the entire bench looks agitated, and as a result, they keep taking more. The Griffins once again send out their power play unit. Well, they create a power play opportunity with hard work, and now it's an opportunity to get back in this game, James. Finding a way to move the puck quickly and create scenes to get shots on net. Good clearing attempt to breathe. Edvinson's taking it from his own end. Grand Rapids is in the offensive zone. Moves it in front! Puck movement, James, working hard away from the puck to support the puck carrier, and they gained that entry because they got numerical advantage, and they capitalized and executed with it. Grand Rapids hadn't let being down deter them at all, and they get that payoff goal, and they are all tied up. Yeah, they might have been trailing, but they didn't get frustrated. They stuck with their game plan. They've been a truck, a freight train here at the latter half of the third period, and they're rewarded with the goal. Rockford's through center and now in the offensive end. From the neutral zone now. And now it's stopped. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. More than half the period has gone by. Hope you're enjoying this one. The next goal could be a big one as we are tied. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, what a save in front! Down the right side and into the zone. Forces the turnover. Grand Rapids is on the attack. Shot! Stones him on the one-timer! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Face-off looming as both centers get into position. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Fires it into the offensive zone. The Griffins will play it in their own end. Here they come. Quick pass to Bergren. Sends the feet in front. And that goes off a stick and off target. Rockford's got it in their own zone. And he slides it quickly to Paddock. Grabs the puck, takes the shot, and he makes the save. Gotta love these moments within a game, James. It's tight. The game really hasn't opened up. You gotta play free, but you have to play responsible as well. Pass it up ahead. Great vision to see that stretch pass. And that one's denied. Into the offensive zone. Shot! Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. The Ice Hogs cross the blue line and are on the attack. Oh, how did he get a glove on that? What a stop by Hutchinson. This 
is a face-off. They'll definitely want to win here inside the offensive zone. The Ice Hogs win that offensive zone face-off. Here's a shot. And there's a glove save on the play. Here in the late going of the frame, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Ice Hogs will start off on the attack after winning the draw. Hutchinson's got the puck, and he's going to hang on. A critical draw here. Grand Rapids has taken possession off the draw on their own end. The Ice Hogs have it in the offensive zone. Here's a short pass to Lipen. Oh, he's going to get called on that slash. Quick whistle stops the play. The Griffins will serve two for slashing. Rockford's power play unit puts their hard hats on as they go back to work. Power play scored earlier tonight, and that gives you so much confidence heading into this one. You know how you executed the first time. They'll be looking for those same openings. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. Hootman's ready for the draw as we get set to resume this power play. Rockford's won the draw inside the offensive zone. Now let's see what they can do with it. Long jam in front. That's broken up. And sends it just out of reach. Moves the puck up to Aston Reese. Unable to reach that one. Moves it to Gust. The Griffins will kill off a few extra seconds now. Trying to get it out of their own end. Oh, and that's a big time clear there. Uh, the critical juncture of the game, and you're in your own zone. you got to find a way to get that puck out, and you do it. You focus on the details, and you made sure you got it. And he was ready for that one. There's the whistle as the goalie hangs on. Lipens at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Ice Hawks will go to work here in the offensive zone. Oh, it gets a club on it to make the stop. Just here in the late stages of this frame, we are all tied up in this one. Coming up on the final minute of regulation time. With the stop. Hutchinson's been so consistent throughout tonight's game, and I mean, he's made timely saves as well. A lot of shots that he's faced in his save percentage is an indicator of it. Centers glide into the dots. We're ready to get things back going again. Scoops up the puck now. Into the offensive zone.
an effort by this team out there tonight. Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. He's Cheryl Pounder. I'm James Sabalski. The playoffs roll on in the next broadcast, and we know we will see you right then and there. Join us then. See ya.